All right, welcome, Chris. Good Thank morning. You. Good morning. Good morning. Chris, how impressive morning, was the shot? Um, great shot. I mean, tremendous shot. And Skip, we've talked before about how most of LeBron's buzzer beaters had been when you you can't think about it, you just kind of react. You catch and shoot, you catch and react. Um, he's a guy that is a thinker, and sometimes you can overthink if you're if you're that type of person. This one, though, he had time to think. Obviously, I mean, he took it full court. And what I loved is he shot it with so much confidence. Like, you knew it was going in. It, it obviously was a beautiful shot going off one foot. I think he meant to go glass softly, the follow through. Like, bet it. I incredible, incredible Tim Duncan shot. Ask. And I think one thing that has taken LeBron this year, at least offensively, to maybe the highest level he's been, is it looks like his mental toughness, he's always been, you know, a smart player, but his mental toughness, I believe, is now ca caught up with his physical toughness. Mm -hmm. And he's thinking the game well. In the clutch, he's, he's ready, he's there, makes the right play, makes the shots. Um, one thing I'll say about it, though, and Rob Parker, we did our radio show yesterday, The Odd Couple, he brought up a point that was a good one and it's true. This was a great shot. I believe it was clutch. I'm not sure Rob does. Not sure Skip does. <laughs> I saw your tweet, though. Um, and, but it was not the ultimate challenge because it was tied. Not saying it wasn't a great shot, but it, if, you, if you miss, you go to overtime. Mm -hmm. So that is a different situation. He has made shots like that. His first two buzzer beaters in the playoffs came in that situation where they were down. So that is but a the, little bit more. Especially the Orlando. Orlando and Indiana big. when he yeah. was in Miami. So he's done it before. This was a great shot, but that's the ultimate. When if you lose, yep. you go home. You see, LeBron can never win because we keep changing the rules of the game. Because every time he scores, we change the rule and say, okay, now rules we take all, the Oh, whoa, whoa, all whoa. whoa. Now, I've never, ever heard when Michael Jordan hit a buzzer beater, them say, anybody say the game was tied. Because they weren't tied. So he, never, so he never hit a buzzer beater. I'm saying the, no, no, the, no, no, no. The, two, the two, his two, I, first of all, I'm not taking anything from LeBron. You just, just did. No, I didn't. Yes, you minimized it's it. Not, no, I didn't. It's not the ultimate shot, Shannon. You know the that. Ultimate the ultimate shot is The ultimate shot is when you are down. You see what you did? Now, you see, and you brought up Michael Jordan. His two iconic shots, they were down. And if you lose, not Utah. I could minimize Utah a little because Cleveland, you lose, you go home. Utah, they lose, there's a game seven. Mm -hmm. So, I, I mean, it's not, it's just saying there's levels. That's all I'm saying. But, I think any but, but anybody that, would admit that. But that's the narrative. If you See, first of all, who's going to close for LeBron now that Kyrie's gone? Okay, he closes the game, and so now we got a hedge. You see, there was, this was not life or death. Because they were, they were if, they, if he misses the shot, they go to overtime. Okay, what happens when he hit the shot that tied it on the other night, the game won? Agreed. Toronto? But, you, but yep. you, you didn't mention that. You gave him no credit for that. He missed that shot. What happened? Who didn't? LeBron. Not me. I, I gave him credit. So Tied 105. You could argue that was a bigger shot. But, you could argue that because you're right. You, you missed that shot. Yeah. You lose that game. I just want to know, when did we start with the narrative? We've seen guys so many times hit a shot when the game is tied. They win the game. We give them credit for hitting the shot. Now with LeBron, we got to parse everything. The game, it was still this many times, this much second on the clock. It was the first round. It was the second round. Well, if he missed the shot, the worst thing that could happen to go to overtime. We never do that. When Tom Brady sits the guy out for a game time for a game winning field goal in the game tied, doesn't nobody say, well, Tom had an easy job because of no. We just give the guy credit at some point in time. We got to say, you know what? LeBron James is great. He's clutch and leave it at that. But that's not what we do with LeBron. Mm. He's the only superstar mm. that we do that with, is that we parse everything mm. that he does to try to minimize his greatness. You can't. You mm. said he wasn't clutch. He's clutch. You said, okay, let's do instead of what he did in Minnesota, that's the regular season. He do it in game one. Oh, that's game mm. one. Michael Jordan shot over Craig Elo happened in what round, Chris Broussard? First game round. one. Okay. He does not only does Skip said it, when he hit that game, went over Indy, he hadn't had one in three years. Now he's had one in two weeks. And now we're talking about at the point of the game, the game was tied. At some point, mm. at some point, you're going to say this is the rules. If the guy hits a game-winning shot, they win the game, 
You says he's clutch. Mm -hmm. We got to stop trying to divide it up. Mm -hmm. They weren't down one. They weren't down two. The worst that could have happened. Mm -hmm. At some point, he got he gets to play by the same rules mm -hmm. all the other all-time greats have played by. Mm -hmm. And we have yet to judge him <laughs> by that standard. Shannon Sharp, we are sorry that the facts are getting in the way of your goat mask, but they're getting <laughs> in the way. No. We're talking about degrees of difficulty. It's, that's all we're saying. Back to the top of this debate. Again, the only good thing I can say about the shot that he made Saturday night was it went in. I give you that. I can't take anything away from you, but I, I got ahead of this. If you look at my Twitter timeline, I wanted to see him for once in his life just attack the rim. They had taken Ibaka out of the game. I don't know why. He can block shots because he had blocked four already in that game yes. on Saturday night. There's no Ibaka. There's no DeMar DeRozan who had just sort of gone in the tank and Dwayne Casey had said, you're not playing anymore in this basketball <laughs> game. So there are two really good defenders who are not on the floor. And all of a sudden, Dwayne Casey says in the huddle, let's, let's take the ball out of LeBron's hands. But touche, Ty Lue finally made a head coaching decision. And it was absolutely brilliant. It's like simplistically brilliant because I wouldn't have thought of it Let's just take the ball full court. I said, I was like, what? Court? why are you wow. taking the ball up full court? Okay. Advantage beast of the East. Yep. Because if you let LeBron get up ahead of full steam, mm -hmm. running the court like Gronkowski, except he's faster than Gronkowski. <laughs> and he is being guarded by a rookie. OG Anunoby is Good no defender, he, though. He's no OG yet. Yo, he he may no, be some, he, yeah, someday he no might OG. be an OG, but he ain't <laughs> one yet. <laughs> he's the 23rd <laughs> overall pick in the draft, which is late first round, and he is he, he's he is learning by the dribble. He's mm -hmm. getting better. But the, he's never been in this situation against this guy. And Siakam was supposed to come and double, but he's like a second year player and he's still learning basketball, and he's like, Wait, am I supposed to do it full court? So he just lets LeBron escape, Correct. and here he comes. Yes. So he's got exactly what I tweeted right before his very eyes. The super highway to the basket has opened. There's no Iblaka standing under the basket. And LeBron has a step on Anunoby with the right hand. And again, he's not known for going right in these situations. But I'm thinking he is just going to power down the lane, and I believe he could have walked off dunked it. I just believe it. I don't, somebody might have come to challenge him, but I'm not sure about that. Well, well uh, uh, Kyle Lowry had you know, come over. But here's the thing. Let's Kyle just say, Lowry? But let's just say Seriously? for sake of argument. He goes all the way to the basket. Kyle Lowry picks the charge up. What's everybody going to say, Chris? Why not pull up and shoot the jump shot? The thing, True. what made this, the shot so hard, he's going full. And this is the way you want him to go. You want him to go left-handed. Well, he likes okay. going left. He does. And, and Allow me to finish. Go ahead. I'm going to quote the great LeBron James after the game. The level of difficulty on that shot was extremely difficult. Don't try this at home. Right. That sums up my case against this shot. He picked the single hardest shot you could have picked on the floor at that point. He's running left. He's shying from the basket. He's got a Nunaby still on him, and he's going full speed to the baseline and goes up off one foot and shoots a one-handed leaner. Yes. Going full speed the wrong yes. way, and I'm still not sure he tried. I'll, I'll give you the benefit of the you doubt, but I'm not the, sure. It looked like I'm not it. It sure. Like it. I'll that tell you why. But the the, ba the the backboard has almost disappeared at that point because you're going full speed to the baseline. There's not but much he, backboard that, that left. Let it go. But here's the There's thing. not much, and you got to barely tick kiss it. Kiss you know, it. just yeah. barely tick a little bit of the backboard to drop it in. And the odds are, you know, and I know, if you're running that fast, full speed that your shot is going to lean left a little bit. So it might have been a little offline and it ticked the glass and went in, but I don't know. I'll give you the benefit. I, I, I'll say a few things about that. One, and I've talked to LeBron James about this over the years. He, he'll fool around in practice. and stuff. He is great at making these incredible... These horse shots. Yeah, yeah, horse, exactly. That's the best way to put it. <laughs> horse shots. And that's what that, that was. That was a horse shot. That's what that okay, was. Why, why would you force yourself to take a horse shot? But with, I with also, the game I, on the I also line? think why, this. Why, would you, why wouldn't you just pull up and shoot a jumper? Why, why well, his what... jumper is going. In, in this series, his jumper is going. And I also, I think he's got great confidence in his jump shot at this point. And to your point, if he goes to the rim, now I think there's a difference in making the pass out of confidence 
and I think that's the best play right. versus I don't want the shot. Right. Let me give it up. Right. I okay. think if LeBron goes to the hole and a couple of defenders collapse, Come. he probably he kicks, it. kicks it. Not yeah. out of fear, he go but out of court. He's going to kick Lowry it. Kyle left his guy. Yeah, exactly. But Skip, I would Can we it. get to the elephant in the room? LeBron does not trust himself at the free throw line oh in goodness. late oh, game so playoff. Come on. Well, I can show he you the stats. He would have gave the ball He's up. got the single worst late game free throw shooting stat in playoff history. Well, you don't need to go to the free throw line okay. if you make the shot. Okay. So exactly. what, he what, may have given up the ball. Why what, hold the what, ball anyway? Hey, they could have found him on the jump. What had happened in this game? He made nine of his first nine. Then with 238 left, whoops, he missed one. Then with 31 seconds left, he missed another one. And the demons are starting in his back of his mind. And again, when Kyle Lowry made a layup to cut it to two with 19 seconds left, who ran to take the ball out of bounds? LeBron James. Why did he do that? High IQ. I don't want to catch it and get fouled. But hold on. If <laughs> there are better free throw shooters on the Cavs than LeBron. Right. And if if you're in that situation where you know they're in. going to foul, you want your best shooter. Now I agree. Jeff Green's not, but that's not the first time LeBron's taking the ball out of bounds. Right. And it's just smart basketball that you get it to a, a okay, better so free time out. So the GOAT, you've proclaimed him yes. the greatest player of all time. Yeah, you moved he, him up from he, three to he, one now. He does not want the ball in late game foul situations? Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> oh, so you got to put your mask on because you don't want to speak. Here's because, the thing. Yeah. Because you know what I heard Saturday night? Kyle Corbin said LeBron James practices these shots every day. And Kyle says, I ask him what why. about the free hold throw? On, hold, on, hold on, hold on, free hold on, hold on, let me, let me finish. Kyle Corbin says he practices these shots every day. And, he, and Kyle says, I ask him, why are you practicing these shots like this? You're never going to use it. Oh, lo and behold, the shots that he, we see him practice come to fruition. Mm. So you know what would have been clutch to me? And I tweeted that, this. So you saying that wasn't clutch? Okay. This would have been clutch to me. Take it to the basket. Get hammered by three Raptors. Skip, at the rim. Wait a second. And then go to the free throw line and stand by yourself and just make one of two. One of two with no huge pressure because you have overtime as a fail-safe. You, you know, if you miss both of them, you get to go you to see overtime. What you did? Let's be fair, though. And, and, and I disagree with Shannon. You know, I wasn't trying to minimize LeBron's shots. I was stating a fact. But to say that that shot wasn't clutch, okay, but, and to again, say why it would have been better the highest than, why, degree of difficulty. Why shot go on the to court? the free throw line when well, you why, are a seventy-five percent? If you're foul the greatest shooter. player ever, you can create a much better shot. That's than a that. great shot. It looked good. It was one on one. It was a terrible shot. It, 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 no, it, it, that was it's that terrible. was a great right, shot. And, and when when Michael Jordan hit the shot of shots, the walk off. Why didn't he drive to the basket, Skip? Exactly. Why, why would LeBron James himself say the level of difficulty on that shot was extremely difficult? Because he's giving it, himself props. Okay. Yes. That's, that's so, the bottom so, line. He's giving himself so, yes. props. I think he wanted to create the most difficult shot possible in case so he, he missed, missed it, he it, could it, say, it, boy, that was hard. That, that's not fair. <laughs> no, it is Cause, fair. Because you know what? Because, look. We can look at Michael Jordan's, the biggest, most iconic shot he of his career. Legitimate we can look at that and say, you know hey. what? Hold on. He shoved no. Brian Russell okay. out of the way. Am was I that, wrong? Yeah. This is a free throw line jump shot. Okay, is that when not When he a, shoved Russell? I know he did. I mean, why so, did he go to the not hold the post? Wait, was that a LeBron hard shot? The, there it is right there. Yeah, He's holding the post. Ah! I mean, oh. we just got to be fair, so, man. So, wh which was higher degree of difficulty, LeBron's or Michael Jordan's? LeBron's. It was a free throw. LeBron. Michael created a free throw. Same situation on the run. But he shoved somebody to get it. He fought. He, and the, he, the, the, nowadays, the NBA would have came out with yeah, but you know what? Review what's, what's the like, review. Those were like the days when that they played been called men's a basketball. Yeah. It was a men's game. <laughs> Chris, well, I'm serious. Like it was. You can run 15 miles an hour, mm -hmm. shoot the ball, falling out of bounds, mm -hmm. and kiss it off the backboard. How yeah, many guys do you think can do that? That's a high shot? difficulty. Oh, Come on, that go. shot was tremendous. But, uh, <laughs> but it, but it was, what, 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 what was Chris. the point of it? Why would you need to the make it so hard? The point was, I'm the only man oh, on earth yeah. that can make this shot. The point That's was, the point. if it misses, Give boy, me props, it was really yeah. hard. That's the point. Yeah. In the words of Edda James, at last. We'll leave it at The Cavs be scared of the Now, she's we'll the go. We'll discuss that next. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.